everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey, 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 guys. Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing? Um, I have some extra paint left over on my palette from another project I was working on. And I said, okay, what am I going to do with this leftover paint? And look who jumped on my table. <laughs> Large Marge. She jumped right down and said, come on, bring it on, girl. So here we are with Large Marge. What I am going to do is, I have a hard time with this one here. That's all right. We're going to play. I am going to go ahead and I am going to fast forward. I'm just going to play with her and see how things turn out. And I will chat with you near the end. All right. I hope you guys have fun.
Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of working on Large Marge and I decided to pull out some scrap papers and I just wanted to show you something I thought was really cool. Um, these are just, it's an old book that I had um, just messed around and put paint on, right? So I was sitting here looking at it, trying to decide what I wanted to do with it. And I saw something, I don't know if you guys see or not. So here's the first one, and here's the second one. This is what I saw. I've got a, just, this is just a Stabilo. And what I see here is a, let me see how I'm going to do this. Here's a, let's see, here's a nose, right? Not sure about right here, but somewhere in here is the mouth. Whoops. That's not right. There's a mouth. Here's a chin. This goes up. This is the back of the hair. Here, this is all hair. Okay. And what I see is I see this this woman coming to fruition here. She's coming to life. I'm not sure about the forehead here. Maybe like that. Like I said, this is the hair. But I saw this woman and I thought, hmm. Alright, I wonder if I can see anything in the man. And let me just, I'm going to wet this down. And I'm just going to give you an idea. I'm not sure how I'm going to do all this yet, but just to give you an idea what I see. <clears throat> I see this woman here. Okay, and of course her hair, you know, this whole blue blob. Now, when I was um, putting paint on these papers, I was just scraping paint off. I wasn't even thinking about what I was doing. These were just in the stash. So, um, yeah, don't mind. My shirt's black. It's no big deal. It's not going to hurt it any. This is my paint clothes, so... Somehow I'm going to have to figure out that. And then the eye here. Okay. But anyways, I just wanted to show you. It's really cool. So if you if you do, you know, leftover painting, you know, take your paint and put it on leftover on something, take a look at it because this is, it's, it's an automatic, you know, face made for me. There's issues here, which I'll have to fix that. But that was the first one. So I saw this lady. This one... See if I can find them again. Okay, right here. So like, let's say this is a forehead, nose, maybe the eye here, um, lips, maybe open mouth. Let's take his chin here. Let's take his neck here. Um, He's got some kind of a funky hairdo here. This is his ear through here, maybe. So anyways, I'm just taking what I see in the paint and playing with it. So let's say, like, here's his nose. Here's his lip. Maybe his mouth is open. I don't know. Let's see what we bring Here's his chin. And I just thought these were really cool. So I'm not going to make these into um, people per se, as far as, you know, I'm not going to do flesh tone and all that. I'm just going to try to accent some of the highlights of what I saw. See him? Oh, here's his eye. Just some, you know, some highlights to, um, this is just kind of cool. <laughs> having fun with it so let's just let's take his hair up a little bit I don't know what the deal is with hair but we're gonna play with it a little get some dark in there I'm not gonna do a whole lot like I said I don't want these to be you know well perfect I don't make perfect anyways but you know what I mean put a little shadow in there a little shadow there we're just gonna kind of 
wake him up a little bit. And I'll go back and do the same thing to her. So, I thought these were just really, really cool. When I saw them, I was like, you know, this is really neat. And, you know, it doesn't have to be, um, like I said, it doesn't have to be a perfect person. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm just suggesting what is already here on the paint, on the paper. I'm suggesting it with the um, Stabilo. Like I said, it's nothing... Isn't that cool? I just think he looks so cool. I'm going to make this a little bit darker through here. Just because it needs to be. Maybe right here. No, no, no. Just, just playing with it. So I'm just playing with the Stabilo, just moving the Stabilo around. Isn't <laughs> he cool looking? <laughs> he's funny looking, but he's cool. So he's going to go on a page in my large Marge. And then this gal, she's a lot brighter, um, so I'm not going to have to do that much to her. I just want to throw some, you know, some more highlights in. Let's see what's going on with her nose here. And we'll get her lips like this. So she's got an open mouth, maybe. Yeah, here's her nose. Oops. She's really dark, isn't she? And then just kind of darken up her hair a little bit. Like I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not making something perfect. I'm just having fun playing with what's already there. What I see is already there on the paper. All right, this is just too dark. Let's pick that up. That's one thing I like about the Stabilo is you can actually take it off as well. Um, just add more water to it, like right here. I want to take that off. Just add more water to it and take it off. Instead of putting it down, you're lifting it up. And then smooth out whatever color's left. And there we go. <laughs> she looks like she's got, she's going, mm, she's got an overbite. <laughs> there we go, that's better. All right. So like I said, um, you know, just check out your painted papers or your, you know, your your leftover papers. You have no idea what's going to be on there. It could be something really cool. Um, definitely check it out. All right. So I'm going to finish playing with these and get back to playing with Large Marge. I just wanted to stop for a minute and show you guys what I was doing. And uh, we'll chat you know, toward the end. Enjoy.
All right, guys, so I am done playing in March for right now. Let's see what we've got here. Um, got, I think we did that last time. Yep. Um, this actually a friend of mine brought back to me from a um, trip that she just took out west. And it's for Tombstone. And she knows I'm into the paranormal kind of stuff. And I, you know, so she brought this back and it just had to be in here. So that's in here. This, um, she actually brought me back this bag too. And I was playing around with my new um, Sizzix uh, Big Pro or Big Shot, whatever it is. It's, it's got a wider base. But anyways, I was doing some embossing. So, And this is just a piece of fabric. I can't remember where I got it from. I do apologize. but And just some buttons just to play around. So again, everything I'm doing in here at this point is just I'm playing. Now these I thought were really cool. I showed you um, how I come up with these. There we go. <laughs> They're funny, aren't they? <laughs> I have to laugh at him. I love his nose. He's got a lip problem, but that's okay. Um, so these guys are in here. I thought they were really cool. So I wanted to find them a home. All right, so that's what we did on the back. I'll put this back in here until I... And on the front... We started here. Um, this is just some goodies that I've received. This is from Lindy Lesser. She does fantastic work. And she doesn't use acrylic paints, which I find really interesting because I don't know what I'd do without my paints. So um, this is a card that I made a while back. That looks like a fried egg, doesn't it? <laughs> it does to me. It says in full bloom. Um, this is all these this is all stuff that I have got in my large marge uh, basket. Anything that I did not use originally um, for you guys, I uh, I put it in a basket by itself. This I will use, and I want to keep the Nana number three with it because she's the one that drew it. But um, anyways, anytime a person uses the words "I can't," that person is trapped. And it says, "I am, I am be free." How about "I am free"? Let's just cross out the B. I am free. And I thought that little. Polar bear was kind of cool. He came from Ann Williamson. So that's it for right now. But like you guys know, let's see. There's lots, lots more to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed me playing around with Large Marge. And we'll talk with you all soon. Take care. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um... And as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!